what's up guys, G-Dog here, and today, in honor of the new trailer for Terminator Dark Fate that just came out, and I saw it, it was awesome, I decided it would be a great idea if I quickly rank all the Terminator movies from my least favorite to my favorite. Let's get started. Let's just go through this a little bit quick. Anyway, coming in at the bottom of the barrel is Terminator Salvation. Terminator Salvation... At first viewing, I thought it was a good movie, but now rewatching it over and over again, it's 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 awful. Like this movie sucks. Like it's not just the fact that don't have Arnold in it. It's just the the story's ridiculous at first, and you think it'd be a cool movie. We finally get to see the future, what Judgment Day is like. But no, we focus on the boring Sam Worthington Terminator, who has like literally no lines in the movie until like. What, the second act? I don't know. I, I do like the guy who played John Connor. He was pretty, uh, uh, not John Connor, what am I saying? Kyle Reese. I do like him. And then, uh, Christian Bale as, um, John Connor was, he was okay, but the only thing I only liked, the only thing I liked about Christian Bale was, you know, that, that rant when he had, when he was yelling at one of the people. Uh, flash cut now. No, don't just be sorry. Think for one fucking second. What the, the fuck are you doing? Are you professional or not? Yes, I am. Do I fucking walk around and rip that? No, shut the fuck up, Bruce. Do I want? No. No. Don't shut me up. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That's pretty much the only thing that I can think of. There's some action bits that are okay, but since it's a PG-13 movie, we don't get really anything fun. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty boring. Like, I, I there's been many times I've checked my phone. Anyway, yeah, this movie sucks, and just skip it. I'm going to give it a 3.8 out of 10. Coming in at number 4, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Now, this movie wasn't terrible. I'll admit it wasn't terrible. It had good elements, it had bad elements, but for the most part, this was not as good as any of the other movies. I thought Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, was decent. That's all I can say. It's decent. Arnold's good. Uh, the guy who plays John Connor's good. Um, for the first half of the movie, uh, Catherine Brewster is annoying and all she does is scream. But near the second half, she gets a lot better. Um, the TX is a cool kind of like mix between the T-800 and the T-1000. It's a cool little mix. But then again, they don't really focus on the TX, so she was not very interesting to watch. Um, there were some action bits that I thought were pretty cool, and um, I just thought it was decent. It had good things, but it also had bad things. A thing that I did not like about this movie is the fact that it tried to like throw in cheap gags and references to the other movies, like using lines from the other movies. Hasta la vista, baby. You wanna live? Come on! She'll be back. I'm back. They threw in really cheesy jokes, like, especially this one. Talk to the hand. Yeah, that joke wasn't really funny, although when it became a meme, it was kind of funny. But anyway, yeah, this movie's just decent. If you wanna, if you just wanna watch Arnold as the Terminator and fight another Terminator, then you'll be fine with this Terminator. <laughs> but if you just want to see Arnold kicking ass as the Terminator in a cool action scenes, you won't be disappointed. But if you want a good Terminator movie, I'd say skip this. I'd give Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines a 7.2 out of 10. Coming in at number 3, Terminator Genesis. Oh my god. Everybody hates Terminator Genesis, and I don't know why. I liked it. Yes, believe it or not, I do believe that the trailer spoiled basically the whole movie. If you see all the trailers, you don't want to sit through a two-hour movie. If you see all the trailers, you've pretty much seen the entire movie. And also, there are a lot of twists in this movie. One being that, spoiler alert, John Connor is the villain. That was a cool, interesting idea. Like, you know, he was the good guy, like, in the other movies, and now he's the villain. That's a cool idea, but they don't really focus on it, and like I said, it doesn't help that it was spoiled in the trailers. And also, um, 
what's her name again? Uh, uh, I forgot her name. Uh, put it on the screen right here. Yeah, she, uh, she's from uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, she she did really good in this movie. She was good as Sarah Connor, but you know she can't make this script work. Um, Jai Courtney, I don't think Jai Courtney's a good actor. He wasn't good in A Good Day to Die Hard. We all know how that was. And um, I Frankenstein. Oh please, it just don't. Uh, yeah, he was okay as Kyle Reese, but I didn't really care for him. Um, Arnold, as always, is fantastic. He always does great in these roles. And I do like that scene where he beats up the 1984 version of himself. I've been waiting for you. Kind of weird how they actually recreated the scene. Since technically James Cameron was working on this movie, he could they, he could have gave them permission to use the the scenes from the original movie with Arnold from 1984, but then again, I, I wasn't a part of the movie. Um, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, um, one thing I did like was Skynet was Genesis, and Genesis is like this aging, like, robot, like, showing thing, I have no idea, but... Again, they don't put focus on it, and it was spoiled in the trailers. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of great action bits, and I do like some of the performances. Especially J.K. Simmons um, was great, and I love him. Uh, flash cut to Whiplash, you'll see why. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. Anyway, um, I thought this movie was pretty great. Is it perfect? No, but I'd say it's better than 3 and uh, Salvation. I'd say it's better than 3. Just by a tap, but I think it's better than 3. But uh, anyway, I'll give Terminator Genesis an 8.6 out of 10. Coming in at number 2. Now this was the hardest decision for me. Because sometimes I consider my number 2 my number 1. And sometimes I consider my number 1 my number 2. Uh, my opinion between these two movies switches often. But as of today, I'm going to say Terminator 2 takes the number 2 spot. It's okay. T number two out of five movies is not bad. Terminator 2 is a fantastic movie. There's not much wrong with it. The only thing that I would complain about is the runtime. Uh, I mean, yeah, the theatrical cut is, you know, two hours, 15 minutes, but the uh, the special edition runs in at a clock in two and a half hours. And, yeah, I understand why they cut some of those scenes. I do like the special edition. Um... But I understand why they cut some of the scenes from the special edition out because it made the runtime just unnecessary and a lot of things were just unnecessary in the special edition. So I'm glad that they cut it down to 2 hours and 15 minutes because I don't want to watch a 2 and a half hour movie. But um, anyway, um, <clears throat> Terminator 2, uh, performance wise, everyone's great. Edward Furlong, I think his name is. Yeah, he's probably the best actor who's played John Connor from any of these movies, uh, despite the guy who played him in Genesis. But, uh, yeah, that's... I liked Edward Furlong, if I'm saying his name right. Um, uh, of course, Linda Hamilton returns. She's amazing. Um, Arnold, again, he does... I think he does a lot of a better job in this movie than the original because, well, he's working on the good side. And that's a thing I like. They took a villain from, the very, from one movie and they turned them into... To an awesome badass person, he's awesome in this movie. Especially that scene when he's with the minigun, that is fantastic. But uh, yeah, I'll Robert Patrick. Don't get me started on how awesome he is. Yeah, he's like an unkillable thing, and it's so cool how Robert Patrick played him. Uh, like very intimidating. Don't tell me that the T1000 from Genesis was better. He wasn't. I don't know that Asian guy who played him. But, uh, yeah, this movie's fantastic. I think the action is a lot better than the original. But as of today, I'd say the original's still better. But that doesn't mean I'm saying that this movie's bad. Anything but that. Terminator 2 is still a 10 out of 10 movie. But I just don't think it's as good as the, f the original movie, which is, of course, my number one pick for the Terminator series. Some people saw it coming, others saw Terminator 2 in my number one spot, but it's all opinion based. 
What do I like in the Terminator? Pretty much everything. I couldn't think of much wrong with this movie. The only thing I would nitpick is that the effects at times are... They're not bad, but you can tell that this was made in the 80s. Like, there's a very dated special effects. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I still think The Terminator is a fantastic movie. It has great acting scenes. Uh, the police station shootout where he's murdering everybody in the police station. That is, without a doubt, one of the greatest action scenes I have ever seen. Uh, yes, Terminator 2 has some too, but I don't know. My opinion, which one is better from Terminator 1 or 2 changes often. It really does change. Sometimes I think Terminator 2 is better than 1. But as of today, I think Terminator 1 is the superior film, but it's close. This was a hard ranking for me to do. But anyway, I'm going to give, of course, The Terminator a 10 out of 10. One of James Cameron's best movies, Arnold Schwarzenegger's best performance that he's ever given, and his best movie. And one of the best action movies ever. So yeah, that's pretty much my ranking for the Terminator series. Uh, tell me how you would rank these movies in the comment section below. Which ones you like, which ones you don't like, which ones you think are okay. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click the like button. It should be down there somewhere. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification icon, which is the little bell logo, so you will be notified whenever a new video comes out. And, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I'm G-Dog, and I will see you in the next video.